course that's uh, coming over the U.S. here uh, in a few weeks, August 21st, I believe it is. And uh, I want to talk about a dream the Lord gave me five, six years ago in uh, 2011 uh, that I believe He wants me to share because I feel like He's saying that this is uh, the this coming eclipse is this dream. Uh, coming to fruition all right what I saw in this dream okay now before I get into that I just want to encourage you. I'm gonna put a link in the description box to Steve Ciccolanti's video discover ministries uh, it's entitled is the US in the Bible great American Eclipse August 21st and Steve really goes into great detail about what the word signs and seasons mean in the Bible and how uh, this coming eclipse is actually a sign and how the Hebrews would have understood to look to these signs uh, for understanding of what God is doing, what he's getting ready to do. And just real quickly, I'm going to read the scriptures that pertain to that. Uh, in, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 14, it says this, And God saith, let luminaries be in the expanse of the heavens to make a separation between the day and night and the night then they have been for signs and for seasons and for days and years okay so if you look up in the um in a concordance the word signs that is used there in genesis it is the word the hebrew word off okay and it means a sense of appearing a signal or an omen which an omen is like a bad thing that's coming and then the word seasons is the Hebrew word moed and it's uh, it means appointments or fixed times all right it's not like summer winter spring fall it's appointed times the feast days the Hebrew feast days all right which we know there's seven of them and so the uh, Psalm 104 verse 9 actually says he appointed the moon four seasons and that means these moeds so we uh, understand that we are to be looking to these things in the heavens for understanding of what God is about to do this is not astrology understand that the enemy has he always tries to mimic God he always tries to take uh, what God has originated and he tries to duplicate it and he puts his own slant on it in order to deceive us but God originated this the, the sun, the moon, and the stars, he created, and he created them for a very specific purpose. And so it's important for us, church, to understand that purpose. Um, and again, I encourage you to, to watch Steve's video if you haven't already, and it will give you a really good understanding of what the purpose is for the sun, the moon, and the stars. All right, now, I believe that that coming solar eclipse is an omen. I believe the Lord is warning the United States that judgment is coming. And we know um, that that is bookmarked by seven years from this August. There's another solar eclipse coming over the U.S. in the opposite direction, which like literally puts an X over the United States, okay? And it, it very well could be, you know, that during the time of the tribulation, the, the U.S. is going to experience severe judgment. And I really, and this is just me, this is my thoughts, but I really believe that the church, the presence of the church in the United States is the only thing that has kept the United States from being judged, uh, you know, experiencing severe judgment. That's just my thoughts, but the moment the church is gone, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad all over the world, but I think the fact that, that this solar eclipse is coming over the U.S., means that the U.S. may be the very first on the list for judgment. So just my thoughts. But anyway, so this dream I was given back in 2011. So I was like in this amusement park. And the thing is, there were no exits. There was no escape, which tells me that's the time of the tribulation because we know that no one can escape that. All right, so I was looking in the sky and I see this horrible storm moving in, all right? And it was like a, worse than anything I had ever seen. And I just remembered observing the people in the park and I knew they were in extreme danger, but they didn't know it. And in fact, they were looking at this storm as if it was some type of entertainment. 
and and they were watching it like oh you know they, they just like it was amusement and see this is my concern this is what I believe is happening right now that the the uh, the Lord is showing us through signs in the heavens okay that judgments coming and instead of taking it as a warning, a lot of people, I think, because, you know, a lot of people in the church don't understand how God uses the, the sun, moon, and stars. They see it as astrology, and it is not. Uh, so they just discount it. But I'm telling you, we have to, as a church, we have to be wise. We have to have knowledge of truth. You know, what does the Bible say? My people perish for lack of knowledge. Okay, so... And unless we understand these things, how can we warn anybody else? So I'm just encouraging you to really take this to heart. What is what the Lord is showing us and, and pray about it. Be ready. Encourage others, family, friends, coworkers to be ready. You know, because I, uh, I really believe this is a very, a very serious sign that the Lord is sending us, um, church. So I, uh, I just hope and pray that we'll all, you know, join together in prayer, uh, for this nation, for this world, that as many as possible, you know, will come to Jesus now and be spared what is coming on the earth.